Have you ever had genital discharge and wondered if it was normal or an infection? What kind of discharge is caused by a yeast infection and how do you treat it? In this video, we'll learn about yeast infections. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, where we learn about common medical topics so you can take control of your health. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get started. Yeast infections can occur in several parts of the body, including the mouth and throat, genitals, heart, and in the blood. This video will focus on yeast infections occurring in and around the genitals. The infection that we call a yeast infection is caused by a fungus, most commonly Candida albicans. The infection can also be called Candidiasis. Although yeast infections are not considered sexually transmitted infections, it is still possible to transmit to sexual partners. It's normal for yeast to grow on humans, but it's maintained at a certain amount. The infection and symptoms occur when it overgrows. The number one symptom that points to a yeast infection is a thick, white to yellow, cottage cheese-like discharge. The discharge is generally odorless and painless, but it can cause itching or burning, which leads people to scratch the area and damage the skin. The infection can also cause inflammation in the area, which can be painful and lead to redness, swelling, burning with peeing, and burning with intercourse. There are several antifungal medications that can be bought over the counter or prescribed, and they are all very similar in how they're used. A common medication is called Meconazole, brand name Monistat. They either come as a pill that is inserted into the vagina every night at bedtime for three or seven nights, or a cream applied to the infected area every night at bedtime for three or seven nights. The length of time varies based on the medication. There's also an option of a one-time pill taken by mouth. Speak to your doctor before taking these medications if you're pregnant or taking any other medication. You can manage the risk factors to help prevent infection. Risk factors include having an uncircumcised penis and anything that changes the genitals environment, such as stress, excess antibiotic use, uncontrolled diabetes, pregnancy, some birth control, being immunocompromised, and poor genital hygiene. When a yeast infection is not treated and you constantly scratch the area, this can lead to damaging the skin, and this increases the chance to get other infections. A prolonged infection can also lead to chronic or long-term inflammation and pain. Yes, anytime the yeast overgrows, it can lead to the infection. If you have frequent yeast infections, review the risk factors and talk to your doctor because you may have an undiagnosed condition such as diabetes. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.